Hi everyone, um, today I would like to talk a little bit about ETH, okay? About ETH, <laughs> yes. Alright, you know about the gas fees and I have done a couple of videos on gas fees before and um, I think it's common knowledge by now that BNB use, pairing with USDT BEP20 is the least expensive followed by uh, USDT TRC20 which is paired with TRX on the Tron chain um, is slightly more expensive than uh, you know the first one and then the last one being the third one is the most atrociously expensive it is on the Ethereum tr uh, chain and it is using ETH ETH or um, USDT ERC20 has to require ETH as gas fee. Okay, I just wanted to share something that one of my associates from USA shared. Um, he shared that the ETH blockchain is a problem and uh, that ETH is really exp expensive to transact and you know, for example, he shared that it cost him $12 in ETH just to transfer 103 USDT ERC20 to another wallet. I think he's talking about Fintosh wallet to wallet transfer. And so just one wallet to wallet transfer for $103 dollars cost him $12 worth of ETH. You know, it just really doesn't make sense, right? It is so expensive. And also, ETH takes a lot longer, okay, to move around. And uh, he, he says that, you know, um, just to, for the same type of movement, for the same type of uh, transfer of USDT BEP20 using BNB, would cost just 0 0.07 cents. Yeah, compare that. 0 0.07 cents versus a $12. Oh, that's why, you know, we always encourage that uh, not to use USDT ERC20 mm -hmm. to loan, but to rather, but to rather to use USDT BEP20 because it is so much savings, okay? And uh, also, you know, when you perform a swap, um, anything to swap with ETH, it always takes a long time, much longer, sometimes up to hours. Um, and uh, once I tried to transfer USDT, no, sorry, I tried to transfer ETH out into my trust wallet and uh, it took forever. And it took forever. My gas fees got deducted for the ETH transfer. It got deducted. And yet, after a few days, the funds came back to my Fintosh wallet. It bounced back because it seemed that I didn't have enough gas fee in ETH, even though I, had, I felt I had a lot, you know, and yet it got totally deducted. I couldn't remember the amount. And my USDT ERC20 didn't even get to my trust wallet. <laughs> it flowed back into my Fintosh wallet after a few days, okay? So, um, I do have, you know, uh, traumatic experience with ETH, all right? But, well, ETH is so expensive and uh, therefore, you know, I would like to, now that I actually have some ETH in my wallet, all right by default i have this eth so that now i have um you see i have a 0 0.2082 in my wallet which is accumulated over some time due to some you know um overriding flow of uh, commission okay because when i have business associates under my network who lend out other cryptocurrencies such as ETH. So by default, you know, over time, day by day, little by little, 
uh, accumulated over time, I also now have some amount of ETH. And so I consolidated my different ETH in different accounts. And so right now I have tonight 0 0.2082, which is worth some 380 USDT. Well, not bad. And I know that with 0 0.1, ETH, I can already lend it out onto the lending platform to earn a 1% profit per day. And uh, so I decide that now that I have this number of ETH, I should lend it out. Okay, so I'm going to click on lending. And then here, in order to lend out ETH, let me use red this time because I don't really like ETH. And uh, so I use a firing color. Okay, so I got to change it to ETH chain. Then here, I also got to change it to ETH, okay? So click on ETH. And then here, click the arrow down to change to ETH. And you see, you see this portion here? It says that please enter 0 0.1 integer. That means now, and now I do have a 0 0.2 right so I can actually enter 0 0.2 to lend it out and uh, I pray that there is a borrower wanting to wait for my ETH and if there is a match then only my contract my smart contract will start and only then can I start waiting and earning 24 hours to see my 1% profit on the ETH capital per day. <laughs> All right, so grab it now. And uh, this is how the contract looks. It shows that I'm lending out 0 0.2. It will be locked in for seven days and for 1%. And every day I'm gonna earn 0 0.002 ETH. Over seven days, it will be 0 0.014 ETH. And I own the reinvestment button. With that, I'm going to confirm it. And the next step. Oh gosh. <laughs> what did I just tell you? I thought, what did it just say? Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, let me do this in slow motion. Okay, when I click on confirm, look what it says. Okay. This is not the scary thing. By the way, since I'm here, let me show you something. The minus fee, it shows that it is going to be 0 0.009 ETH. And that is already a few dollars, okay? Uh, let me try. Next step. Okay, next step. See something here? ETH has insufficient fund. Again, let me show you. Oh boy. I, it says that I don't have enough funds in my ETH. Um, I think, I think what it means is that. Okay, l l let me let me show you again. Okay, that that was too fast for me. Um, I think I don't have enough ETH in my gas fee to land it up. Okay, let's confirm, and next step. C has insufficient fee to pay the minus fee. Yeah, done. See what I mean about ETH? I rest my case sincerely. Okay, let me go back. So it seems that even though it appears that I can lend it out, but because ah, uh, if I were to lend out you see, so now I have a 0 0.2082, right? So if I need to lend out 0 0.2, that means I only have 0 0.082. And this is not enough for the minus fee. Not enough for the gas fee, in other words. Ah, uh, this is frustrating. What am I going to do? Oh boy. Um... Let me see if I can consolidate some ETH from somewhere else, okay? Just bear with me for a while. Let me toggle around and see if I can dig out any ETH anywhere. Maybe from under the bed or, you know, in the dungeon somewhere. Okay, zero ETH, forget it. Not in this wallet. Oh boy.
This is frustrating, isn't it? And uh, what anticlimax this is. Oh, this wallet also has zero ETH, darn. Oh, and uh, let me see. Uh, this is a problem. I think I transferred all my ETH over to Sam4 already. But I will have a long-term problem, you know why? <laughs> now that all my accounts are zero in ETH, next time... Oh boy, I have another headache. Oh my goodness. Because now that I, I just realized one thing, I transferred all my ETH and consolidated into SAM4, thinking that I could land it out and generate some ETH and earn some ETH. But I realized that after consolidating everything, now I have a future problem. <laughs> because I wipe out all the ETH in all these wallets, right? Next time, in these wallets, when I have ETH in the profit pool, I won't be able to withdraw. <laughs> you get what I mean? Oh, man. Okay. Um, what am I to do? What am I to do? You know, this uh, Fintosh thingy, right, uh, requires a lot of brain cells, you know. <laughs> uh, okay. Bingo, I found something here. Okay, uh, in my SAM5 account, I do have some hope. I have this 0 0.0756 here. Mm, let me see if I can mine some more ETH here, okay? Let me check on this. Do I have enough to take out some ETH? Yeah, I have a 0 0.285. Let me see if I can take out this. Okay. Oh, good. I managed to withdraw this. So it will add on to my this pool here. So let me wait for my ETH here to add up. Okay, I think the 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 ETH that I just withdrew has not been added into this yet, okay? So let me try to refresh it. Uh, not yet. Okay, let me just go backwards to the profit page. And then here, I can click on this part here to check. So when I click on it, then to check means to look at the funding details, okay? Then click on the funding t details there, you see? So I can see I just try to withdraw 0 0.0285 ETH, right? And when I withdraw this, there is a 5% admin fee. And because it has to go through this calculation of admin fee by the system, it will take slightly longer to arrive in my wallet. All right, let me try to refresh. How do I know when it will be processed? To know that it will be processed is when you see the hash. When you see this green thing, it means that it has been processed, okay? At the moment, the green line is still missing, right? So it still has not gone in. Uh, 0 0.0285. Okay, let me go back to the wallet. So at this point in time, this not the 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 latest uh, withdrawal has not been added yet. Okay, it may take a bit of time. Let me try refresh again. It's still not yet. Okay, I will pause for a while here until I receive it. Then I'm gonna try to see if I can land out ETH again tonight. Okay. Hi, okay, um, it took maybe a few minutes and you can see now my ETH has been added, has been topped up and uh, how can I check it? You can click on ETH itself, just click on it and then you can see all the details, okay? Like uh, this one here, it shows the date and the time and the amount added, okay? So now, uh, now, 
yeah、mm, what should I do? I added to this ETH. Now I can transfer all this ETH over to Samp Four to add add together, and hopefully then I can land up ETH. Do you think it's a good idea? Well, let's do it. Okay. Transfer ETH. Let me see if I have saved the link before. Yes, I have Samp Four receive ETH. It's saved. It's so it's a shortcut. I click on the all, and then I click on next step. Okay. All right. So, I transferred all my ETH over. Let me refresh it. It's still. It's still. It still shows all the amount here. Hmm. Did it transfer? Zero point zero nine eight five. Zero point zero nine eight five. Ah,、uh, I'm getting tired, and、uh, I'm trying to stay awake. ETH. Okay, I think it got transferred. You see again. I can click on the ETH to see. Is zero point. Ah,、uh, is it just a?、Eh? No. This amount is from where? Just now, the one that I just transferred didn't look like it's here.、Mm. Wait, let me check. Ah,、huh? where was it? It was in Sam Five. Let me check whether my ETH is still there. Oops, my ETH is no longer here. So I guess it has already been added. Okay, go back to Sam Four. I'm really quite sure it has already been added because just now it was only zero point two something. Now it's zero point three, and now the value you see, the value of ETH now I have is five hundred over dollars. So I guess in order to have enough gas fee and be able to land out, I think from here. I can land out zero point two, and just leave the balance behind so that there's enough gas fee to make the landing out, right?、Um, let me try, okay. Let me try <sighs> landing, and then again I click on ETH chain. Okay, I again I click on ETH. Chain, and then、um, change it to ETH, and it says zero point one integer. I have zero point three, but I have to leave some ETH as gas fee, right? So let's try for zero point two, okay? And let's see if this time I can successfully grab it, and not be anticlimactic like earlier. Okay, guess what? It it worked, all right. So now, I have finally succeeded in landing out ETH. I mean, I don't know if it is going to be under investment because when it is successful, then it will appear under investment. Right now, it appears as under subscription. Okay. Uh, but I hope so. This zero point two, which I land out at this time. And、uh, let's see. Let's wait for a while, okay? And、uh, while waiting for it, maybe I'll just do some other landing stuff here, okay? Now I'm at Sam Four. Let me try to land out、um, USDT TRC. How about that? And uh,、um, and. Uh, And let let let's let's land out USDT TRC, but it's a short of a little bit to make a nice round figure, you know, and even the USDT BP twenty as well, short of just a bit. Okay, let me see if I can consolidate. Okay, while waiting, just bear with me. Let me find some way to top up so that I can land out more. 
Mm, I already reaped my profits earlier one round. Okay, I have some BEP20 here. And uh, let me see. Nothing on Tron ETH. Okay. Uh, so, I have some BEP. Okay, it hasn't arrived. And um, let me then now go back to check if my ETH is um, successfully under investment, alright? Now I have a network request timeout issue. Um, let me see. I go to profits. You see the network timeout. Okay. And oh no, I should go to lending. Oops. See, my... ETH is still under subscription. It has not gone under investment. You see? So usually if it is like cryptocurrency, sometimes it's not so easy to be lent out. It may not be so easy to find borrowers. Alright? But USDT is a lot faster because uh, your investment can only start when your lent out um, amount or tokens um, have a borrower at that point in time okay if there is no match then it will not be able to be lent out successfully okay so let me check refresh oh okay great finally i see that it is under investment all right so it has been successfully matched that's good now what was i doing so now let me see if uh, I could, you know, top up all the USDT BEP20. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, I'm really struggling to keep awake. I think I shall not uh, delay on this. What I'm just going to do is just directly land out whatever I could. Okay. So USDT 286, instead of trying to consolidate, find another $14 to make it a nice 300 That would be really nice, right? But I'm just too tired. So forget it. I'm just going to land out 200 for USDT BEP from this pool here. I'm going to land out this. After I do this, then I'm going to land out this, okay? So first, lending USDT BEP20, I'm going to type 200, that's the maximum I can grab for now. Okay, so 200 USDT BEP is out, and now I want to land out the Tron, the TRC20. So I changed the chain on the top to Tron chain, and now for... USDT TRC20 it shows me that I have a balance can you see I have a balance of this and now it's at TRC20 I have 1165 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to 1100 to land out and grab it now okay confirm next okay done under subscription under subscription then uh, I'll just wait a little bit for both to become under investment, okay? So once it is confirmed, it shall be under investment. It may take a while, maybe like a few minutes. All right, and I'm very sure that with this, uh, it will be all good and um, it shall be able to, you know, to be lent out successfully <laughs> all right uh thank you for listening in and all the best uh, god bless you all until tomorrow good night